All right, guys, let's talk about fashion today. All right, we'll be looking at the concept that entails on uh, the topic we're having on friction. All right, so um, in physics, friction is known as a force that acts as a surface of separation between two bodies in contact and tend to oppose the motion of one over the other. Right, what we mean is that friction is a force that uh, opposes the motion of one body over the other right so um let's assume let's assume we have a rough horizontal surface right this is an horizontal surface uh, pardon my drawing might not be straight this is a rough horizontal surface right if we have an object on top of the surface this object is above the surface if the object if we are applying a force if there's a force applied right let's call this applied force all right applied force if there is a force applied in this direction frictional force will be opposing the motion the frictional force will be coming in this axis right if the force is applied to this direction it means a frictional force is opposing the motion so at this point the frictional force here the frictional force here let's call this our frictional force or let's call it ff frictional force is acting opposite to this body that's what the concept of frictional force, right? That's just everything that has to do with frictional force. That um, it is a force, it is a force that acts as surface of separation between two bodies in contact. They are uh, we have our rough horizontal surface, and then we have the body. Yeah, let's call it a box, for instance. This is a box, right? And it tends to oppose the motion of one body over the other. So if the boss is going in this direction, if it is a direction of frictional force, uh, if it is a direction of applied force, force applied, let's call it motion. A direction of motion it therefore means that at this direction it will be opposing known as our what as our frictional force right so this is just a simple concept of what frictional force is that as a body is moving in one direction friction is acting opposite it right it's acting counterbalance to at the direction of the motion if the motion is this direction the frictional force is opposing it in this direction that's just the simple concept of what frictional force is now let's look at two scenarios as regard to what we just explained so um let's assume um case one two cases this is case one and this is case two case two let's assume this is our rough horizontal surface right our rough horizontal surface it's rough all right and then we have our body uh, our box on it if the motion is in this direction we said if this is the direction of motion this is our applied force force of applied right motion direction of motion right it means that the frictional force is coming in this part right this would be our frictional force Right? If the, body, if the direction of motion is in this part, the frictional force will come in this part. As well, in the case 2, right, let's assume rough horizontal surface that the direction of motion is now in this part. Let's assume the body is moving this part. Let's call this our applied force. Right? This is our applied force. It's moving in this part. It therefore means that the frictional force will be acting at the opposite of it frictional force that's something i want us to understand right that there are two cases here if the frictional force is come in sorry if the uh applied force that direction of motion is in this part frictional force will be acting at this part as well if the applied force is coming here if this is the direction of motion direction of motion it means that this will be our what our frictional force right having said that about frictional force let's look at the concept of frictional force now let's assume that this is our rough horizontal surface right we've been talking about the rough horizontal surface for quite a while this is our rough horizontal surface all right and then we have a body a block on top of it let's assume this is our body on top of it all right let's call it block right you will discover that two forces there are several forces that will be acting on this block the first force that will be acting on this block is the weight of the block the weight called w 
right? And then from Newton's third law of motion, Newton's third law of motion, it says to every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction, right? So if this is the weight, it's going to have a reaction here, opposite reaction. And I will call it reaction in Newton as well. This is also in Newton, the weight in Newton, right? And I'll call it reaction, or we'll call it the normal reaction. Some textbooks use R, and some textbooks use N, right, for this part. So the several forces that are acting on this block, number one, it is weight, and then it's normal reaction, right? Of course, we're going to have, let's assume this is our, our direction of motion, right? Let's assume this is our direction of motion, applied force applied force here right and let's put motion here if this is a direction of motion it will mean that this part becomes what a direction of what of frictional force of frictional force in newton as well right so these are the concepts this is a rough sketch of concept i want you to understand for bodies on smooth horizontal plane please this concept applies for bodies on smooth horizontal plane now from um experiment it has been proven that the frictional force is directly proportional the frictional force is directly proportional to the normal reaction right from experiment we know that frictional force is directly proportional to normal reaction mathematically what we do in cases like this for proportionality sign we remove it by putting an equal sign but we're going to introduce a constant the only way we can remove this proportionality sign mathematically is by introducing a constant therefore we can say frictional force is equal to mu r this mu becomes the constant of proportionality right by introducing a constant it's called the coefficient of frictional force i'm making sense now this by experiment we're told that frictional force is proportional to normal reaction but then mathematically to remove this sign of proportionality we have that the frictional force is equal to what mu arrow where mu it's called mu this word here uh please pardon me uh, my my line is not that straight but pardon me right this word where we have this as our frictional force it's our frictional force right and then we have this called mu so we'll call it mu mu right it's called the coefficient of friction that's its name right an arrow is known as our normal reaction in newton right frictional force also unit is in newton but then there's something i want us to understand there's a concept i want us to understand understand that for bodies on smooth horizontal plane the normal reaction is equal to the weight of the body normal reaction normal reaction i'm just putting here normal reaction is equal to the weight of the body and the weight of the body weight is given as what mass times acceleration due to gravity right it's not hard so we can say normal reaction is equal to the weight of the body and the weight of the body is what mass times acceleration due to gravity what does that mean it means that if our normal reaction is equal to the weight it is also going to be equal to what mass times what acceleration due to what to gravity so let's put all of this in concept let's just put all this in concept we said from number one that experimentally the frictional force is directly proportional to the normal reaction right for us to remove this proportionality sign direct proportionality sign we introduce a constant called the word the mu known as coefficient of friction therefore the frictional force becomes mu r we've removed this uh sign of proportionality replaced with an equal sign by introducing a constant we can also say that this is our coefficient of static friction if we divide both sides by arrow we're going to have frictional force over arrow so we are using we are, we are literally going to be using both this one this one and this one to solve questions to solve 
question. This, both of them will be using this to solve questions. Right? I also give, give us a concept that our normal reaction is equal to the weight of the body. Right? Normal reaction is equal to the weight of the body. That's what we have here. Right? And the weight of the body is giving us what? Mass times acceleration due to gravity. Right? So let's look at another concept. Alright, so let's look at example number one. It says um, a frictional force of 15 newtons. So let's take parameters. A solution. The parameters were given frictional force of 15 newton. Of 15 newton applied parallel to the surface of a horizontal plane is just sufficient to make the block of mass make a block of mass six kilograms. So we're giving mass of six mass six kilogram move on the plane calculate the coefficient of friction so we're looking for mu right given that g is 10 meters per second square so this was what we have and i said from our experiment we're told that the frictional force is proportional to what to r right so therefore it means that our frictional force is equal to mu r right so if we divide both sides by r that's r is taken off r right our mu will become what frictional force over r this is what i told us right uh, part of what we did the other time and then if we take it further we know that r but we know that r is equal to w and w is equal to mg so if we can get the value of mg which is w we've gotten the value for r right so let's get the value for r uh, please uh, permit me just trying to make this one easier for us so we said r which is equal to w which is equal to mg mass times gravity we're given the mass of what six kilogram that should be six times ten because g there was ten all right if we multiply we're going to have 16 newton so that's the value for r therefore we know that R is equal to 60 Newton. Fair enough, right? And we're given the value for our frictional force as what 15, right? So if we bring using this formula, because we're asked to look for the calculate value of the word coefficient of friction, which is this new. So if we bring mu, mu is simply frictional force and frictional force over R. We got the value for frictional force as 15. That's 15. And we have the value for our R as what? As 60. So using my calculator, my calculator here. If we do 15 divided by 60, we're going to get 0 0.25. 0 0.25. Of course, the coefficient of friction does not have a unit because frictional force is in Newton and the normal reaction is also in Newton. So if Newton takes off Newton, no, uh, no unit will be left. So we can say, therefore, our uh, mu is 0 0.25. I'm sure you understand this question. It's very, very simple and straightforward. And next video, I've given us um, another question, yet another question to further uh, buttress what we're working on. I'll see you in the next video, guys. <laughs> right, let's look at question two. It says um, a block solution, a block, a 10 kilogram block, box, sorry. So we have the mass. As 10 kilogram a 10 kilogram box is pushed on a rough horizontal surface with a force of 80 newton so we have force of 80 newton right we have to find the coefficient of friction which we don't know here if g is 10 meters per second square so it follows with the first one right it's just simple what we need to do is to know that our force here is already proportional to what our arrow therefore force is equal to what new arrow if we're looking for the coefficient of friction we divide both sides by arrow so that arrow is taken off arrow our mu is equal to what f over arrow it gave us the force of what <clears throat> the force is 80 newton we have 80 over arrow is equal to w right we know that arrow is equal to w which is equal to mg so our arrow becomes mass which is what 10 times g which is 10 that gives us 
100 newton so i can come here and fix 100 newton zero takes off zero um eight divided by ten that gives us what zero point what zero point eight as our quotient of friction very simple right so when you see questions as regard to this this is just how you should go with it if you have any questions please leave them in the comment section please make sure you like share and subscribe to our channel that way to help us reach um, a wider range of people when you share the video it helps us reach a wider range of people when you subscribe to the channel it encourages our work i'll see you in the next video guys thank you